In this video, we'll see the benefits brought by simulation during the design phase. So let's fly through um, into the assembly, into the model. And I would like to focus on this part, on this duct. The, this duct is in charge to bring cool air uh, to refresh um, the, the head in charge of uh, burning the wire for the 3D printing uh, operation. So from Spacecam, I switch to Discovery, uh, same file, and it's of course fully compatible. And you can appreciate the interface of Discovery, completely redesigned with an, a lot of enhancement, but you are not lost at all. Okay, uh, you will find the same menu, the same shortcut, the same way to work. So I would like to extract the fluid volume there, but you see the part is not well designed. So what I propose you is another technique where I have to recreate the fluid volume from scratch. So I do some, I uh, would say, some adjustments. So I would like to remove the rounds and I'm going to copy paste the edges to recreate the, the different boundaries, the inlet and the outlet of, of the fluid. So as usual, copy paste. Uh, to extra extract the edges, okay, and based on these edges, I'm gonna have to fill them to recreate the surface to have the boundaries of the of the model. You see that? Uh, what's interesting, you can still work on the wireframe model. Uh, you don't have to reach any special tools. You can just drag and uh, uh, extend and trim and and reconnect and repair the, the wireframe model. Okay. So that, that that's pretty interesting. That so there, um, I'm creating as as I mentioned um, the different boundaries to have the uh, the direction of the geometry I have to create because I will create a blend in in between this, uh, this these parts. Okay, um, and and then you can see on on the sides the uh, history uh, with all of the bodies, and I can quickly access, of course, with the. With the hex and the hello, I have all the commands I use most of the time uh, located there. So some cleanup because the fluid, uh, the original fluid geometry was not uh, super perfect. And what I'm doing right now is I activate the history tracking. Okay, so this is super helpful in, in super uh, helpful in this case uh, because I'm I'm recording the different um, features, the different steps I'm doing right now. So you see, I recreate the blend, and now I'm recreating a straight. Uh, connection from this phase to, to the um, to the other geometry. So this is how the original fluid volume um, has been created. Okay, and I have exactly the same geometry right now. Uh, so what I have to do now is to define the boundary condition, the fluid condition. So um, I define um, a volume flow rate based on my fan characteristics here, and on the other side I have two outlets. So the pressure is equal to zero because okay, it's it's just an, an outlet uh, in, in the air without any, any, any special, special stuff. So everything is set. I can control on the side. Uh, oops, I just have to change the fluid. So I have access to uh, a fluid library, a material library in general. You can customize it. And uh, of course, in, in this case, it's pretty basic, this air. I run the simulation. Okay, and I would like to focus on two specific uh, stuff. I would like to control exactly the value at some location. So in this case, I have to select the two outlets because I would like to control what happened exactly at the two outlets. In the ideal case, it will be something like 50%, 50% for both of them. Okay, um, but okay, I, I can go closer to this value, but uh, I'm not expecting to, to, to go there. Um, so the first thing is you can see there is a pretty fast uh, solve and uh, a very nice rendering when I can appreciate and understand what happens. And what you see there is this, the velocity, the speed. So in blue, you see the, um, the low speed. So with, with this view, it's much better because I have um, the view of the hair spread among the different uh, outlets. And you see on the, t on, on the top one, I created a kind of blade effect. The, the, the airflow is going on, on the bottom of the outlet. It's definitely not well spread. So what is definitely not well designed? Okay, because I have a big outlet and I use only a, a small portion of the outlet to extract the air. And it's because of that. You see that with the flow path, I clearly saw the vortices. I see the recirculation of the air and with a low speed here. And with this view, I have another way to see that. It's also pretty interesting because I see how the fluid is split, okay? Um, so you see the difference between the blue color and the, uh, the red one, okay? The boundary layer is completely broken, for sure, because there is a sharp edge based on the geometry. Remember, I created a smooth with a blend and a straight one crossing in, in the middle. So that's why I have, I have this, and that this is why I have this, uh, this effect. 
So I saved all the different results. I created some scenes, okay? Uh, and if you look at the values of my monitors, you see that uh, there is a ratio of three. So one is three times bigger than the other one. So definitely not the good one, okay? So let's see how we can improve that. Um, and thanks for the history tracking because I can come back in the history and I can read it what I did. So um, I'm going to have to suppress the straight, um, I will say pipe connection, and I'm going to have to replace that by a blend. Okay, so just to have a, a much better, a smooth, a smoother um, uh, geometry to help the fluid to follow uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the good direction. Okay, um, so I can read it all the different features i can change the option i can rebuild them one by one to be sure that my model is correctly rebuilt or i can rebuild everything in one time this is what i'm going to do right now okay just i don't have to to recreate them one by one so what is interesting there is everything is preserved the boundary condition the scenes uh the monitor road everything i just need to press um solve again and to see the impact of uh, my geometry change on the simulation okay so as you can see there um yeah it's pretty fast okay and if i click there you see with the bubbles representation i directly improve that okay it's maybe not yet perfect but you can quickly appreciate and especially with this view that i decrease this i would say blade effect uh, where the air was um extracted only on the small portion of the outlet so and, and there i can i can clearly see with the vorticities and uh, with the, the flow path and there when i look at how the fluid is split okay you see of course i i, I preserve the quantity i preserve the curvature of, of the of the path so that that's much better of course in this case i still have a split but it's because of the geometry i could continue to change the geometry and to optimize it but uh, i would say for a first test it, it's enough okay uh, i improved the design and you can see that in yeah just a matter of minutes i did the job and um if i look exactly at what's what's happened with the monitors uh so what is interesting with the monitors i can track um the different values for the different design changes okay so you see that you have the, the values for the first design so i'm sorry i missed uh the the top and the bottom one and of course the sum of both will still the same so if one is improved if, if in, is increased the other one decrease and i i did the job you see that uh if i look at the values uh i improved by most uh 30 percent uh, the flow volume extraction of the outlet of the of the bottom of the top one so job done uh, so now what I have to do is to from the fluid volume I created I have to recreate the solid around to have the perfect uh, shape in the original shape I had so I could do that in space claim for sure but let me show you that um, discovery is just is not just a tool for the simulation I can also do all the geometry step I did in space claim and even better um, so what I what I'm doing right now is just copy paste the um, the reference faces I had in the previous geometry okay and I can reuse that to recreate the geometry okay and make the cut and I would say something pretty common for a, again for a space claim user I would like there to pay attention at what I'm doing right now I'm creating some runs okay but in this new version of discovery we also improved a lot the geometry kernel and you can really appreciate how uh, complex the runs can be and i can have a run crossing another one and crossing again another one it's much much better and much powerful than what we did in in the past okay so let, let's continue and to finalize the design okay and um just to be sure i can probably add some runs uh just to show you again uh what, what i told you okay um so when when all of that is done okay uh just few seconds okay a few steps um now i can switch back to space claim to see the result in space claim so uh remember i preserved my history tracking so all the features are preserved in space claim so i can in space can read it redo what i want uh and the geometry there okay that that's just beautiful and of course you can continue to add an, an extra feature okay and this can be edited okay as usual okay so you see the compatibility between discovery file and space claim file is complete 
Okay, you have no doubt about that. You can, you can use both. You can use both at the same time. Um, so when the design is done, I can switch to my main assembly. Okay, and now the only thing I have to do is to replace my old design by the new one and to see that it will be in place exactly at the same location. So you see how fast and easy it is to introduce a simulation during your design process. Uh, it helps to understand how your product behaves, it helps you to make much better product. And even for a non-simulation expert, it adds you a lot of added value.